Hey guys, YDCB here with some more Summoner's War action. I know this is a sudden video because there shouldn't be a video at this time, but hey, there's a new patch, so let's talk about a new patch. Alright, it's uh, basically, I think TLDR of the patch is that come to us decided a lot of people having trouble with the raids, so they made things, they buffed certain monsters so that you have an easier time in the raids. Anyway, let's go through the buffs. I say buffs because I don't see a single nerf in the entire, you know, balance thing. It's all buffs and changes, right? Okay, so start off with the Magic Knights. I'm just gonna, you know, give a general, just ge general uh, talk about them. Like, for example, Magic Knights. Generic buffs, damage buffs, cooldown reduction buffs. Uh, water magic, water magic knight gets a cooldown reduction on the retrieve magic for the. Uh, I think retrieve magic is the the one that leeches life. Going to make her a better fodder farmer as well. Uh, damage increase on the default attack for all the magic knights is good because they they hit for shit seriously. So this makes them you know better at fodder farming, especially uh, if you're using Lynette or any of the magic knights in 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 Nacro. They help to clear the trash waves faster and in overall just more damage, right? Desert Queens get cooldown re reduction across the board, water, wind, and light. Well, not really across the board, just water, wind, and light, cooldown reduction. Does it is it game changing? Makes it a little bit more attractive, right? Anubis, water, fire, all, damage buff, damage buff for the branding effect as well. All damage buffs, good. The fire and dark one get a damage increase for the, their second skill. It's just basically damage buff. Why am I saving this image? Never mind. Damage buff. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Dark Anubis also damage buff. All it's good. Very nice. You know, it's just if it's if everyone gets a buff, essentially it's nothing. But they didn't buff everything. They just buffed some of it, right? I believe there'll be another balance patch coming up soon to buff whoever they missed out on this because there'll be people who complain like, hey, you buffed this. Why you why you no buff the other one, right? So anyway, Fire Horus gets a cooldown reduction. Really nice. The, I, I believe all the horrors, not just the fire one, I think all the other horrors, all the other horrors <laughs> need some sort of cooldown buff or, you know, percentage buff. For example, uh, the horrors, when their default attack reduces the attack bar, but it's not 100%. They should make it 100%. Then it's more attractive, you know, otherwise, why should I use the horrors over, say, a Hua or over, say, you know, in, 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 in the dungeons, right, for damage with uh, attack bar reduction? Because it's not reliable, right? If it's not 100%, it's not reliable. All the mummies get a, uh, also a damage buff and some cooldown reductions. That, that's okay. Not, nothing game changing there. In the mummies, in the cowgirls, it's all just helpful buffs to to make your your PVE grind faster, smoother, more successful, right? Salamanders get a buff. Why? Because um, a lot of people are starting to use salamanders in raids, right? Light salamander, even the dark one, is pretty decent for raids, and they're not doing much damage. So if you if you if, so they give the default skill. Uh, and you know all of their skills not just the default one right even the the uh, Even the sandstorm and whatever all skill with defense as well, which is nice, which is nice. Okay uh, Actually, no the default one. I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's a buff It's, it's a buff for the second skill dark storm is actually the second skill. I'm sorry the, uh, That's that was skill with attack and defense instead of just attack, which is nice nothing against that You know all this are uh, uh, pleasant changes to help you in you know in a PVE aspect of the game. How about the Yetis? Look at the Yetis, right? Yetis also get you know generic damage buffs because some people also use Yetis in uh in uh Nacro and this is help pe more people farm Nacro because I believe not everyone is actually farming Nacro B10. And you want to make that happen so that everyone can catch up to the you know to the power power creep, right? Everyone can catch up, hop on this train and, and start farming good runes. That's that's their intention, I believe. Maybe because they're releasing some new content soon and they want most of the community to be able to experience that content. Like when we did the release rates, not everyone could f could farm efficiently R4, R5 and get, you know, R5 and R4, there is a big difference in loot. The rarity of grindstones, there is a big difference. You will notice if you're farming R5, you will see hero, hero, hero gr purple grindstones more often than not. You know, R4 you see more rare and sometimes hero and, and very rarely a legend grindstone. Right? R3 and below is just horrible. So they want everyone to be at least to, to be able to farm R4 at least. I, I, I think that's why these buffs are here, right? Let's see, what else we got? Harpu, damage, you know. Uh Dark Harpu, okay. Uh Water Phoenix, they increase well, I don't even know. I, they must be feeling, hey, you know, let's give something to free to play players. Let's increase the damage of Ice Volcano, which has a 4 turn cooldown, by 9%. What the fuck is, it, is this even doing here? I mean, yeah. Another part of the generic, you know, buffs, right? Not game changing. 
What's game changing? Let's see. Okay, assassins get uh, for the armor break they increase the chance from twenty five percent to fifty percent, which is nice. And I, when you skill it up, I believe it goes up to seventy five or eighty or even hundred. I can't remember off the back of my head, but this is slightly more game changing than the generic buzz because now it's a more reliable armor break which you can use in wherever you want to use because previously you don't really use the assassins for armor break you use them as a nuker and now uh, that they increase the chance for armor break you can there is more utility to the to the unit right okay let's see and they reduce the for the water one they reduce the uh, the attack speed requirement for the number of attacks previously you needed I think 200 plus 200 speed to get seven atta seven attacks in now I think maybe it's less I don't know the exact number we will see when a patch comes out but even then is it really game changing? Nah, not really because I mean in terms of water nukers, you know, unless you are, you know, you don't have a Teor or, you know, a Theomars, you really, really, I don't think you're really keen on having a water assassin for a single target nuke. <clears throat> Sky Dancer. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, it can be useful in also in, in dungeons for, for the water assassin. I mean, it's a big nuke. Anything with big nuke is pretty good. And, you know, even in, in Nacro or something, it's multi-hit. Big damage, pretty good. Let's see, Sky Dancer Light, recovery amount, okay, nice buff. Dragon Knight Dark, Eye for an Eye, attack bar, effect increase from 10% 20%. Well, for those of you who own a Dark Dragon Knight, this is pretty nice. But more importantly, this makes TOA hard. I personally, I don't grind TOA hard. But it personally, I mean, more importantly, this makes TOA hard even harder. Because, like, the, the you know, previously the Dark Dragon, the Ragdoll stage was already, you know, kind of, tedious to deal with and now they buff it by 10% uh, it's, it's gonna fuck some people up right the skills of some monsters have been changed Vagabond win you know instead of fuck that it's alright Anubis water I have one additional effect killing enemy will grant you soul protection for two turns what this is not even a relevant not even a relevant change I mean I don't whenever I'm using a water Anubis I never ever need to be worried for my life why the fuck do I need soul protection? You know, never mind. We shall see when it comes out. Maybe, maybe I do need. I don't know. I, as a water Anubis owner, I don't know if I like this. And I mean, it's it's a nice buff. It's an additional effect. It's not removing any effects. It's just an additional thing. It's a nice buff. Can't say no to a nice buff. But whether or not it's really important, you know, it will depend. Maybe one in a hundred games, it will save you. Cowgirls get. Uh, all right. The water fire and dark one get additional effect from the skill defeat while dark increase attack bar by 10% okay okay so you get more turns uh the wind one gets you know fuck the cowgirls i mean they're good they're basically there to help you make necro faster i don't see cowgirls being relevant in you know in in in, in the arena setting as in you know most people who are so-called end game arena where you know you're talking about like uh, uh, maybe Conquer Tree to G Tree. You, Cowgirl isn't gonna be your staple arena. Let's face it, a staple arena unit. All right. Nine Tailed Fox Dark Nightmare. The stun effect uh, applied with critical hits will now be a guaranteed stun. What do you mean? Cannot be resisted? Is that it? Or, or you know, or what does that mean? Not sure yet. Sea Emperor Fire. Yes, this is one that needed a buff. It's a net five for fuck's sake. Why does it suck so much? Right. So he gets a buff. Rain of Stones. Additional effect, your attack bar will be increased by 25% for each stun enemy target. Well, a question came up. Uh, will it be, you know, will this attack bar increase factor in despair stuns as well? We don't know. Probably not. I mean, uh, uh, theoretically not. But then, there are, I, there are some cases where despair stuns actually, um, how should I put this? actually a factor in it so we don't know yet but it's a nice buff it's a nice buff and makes it more relevant for TOA heart uh, even in arena if you're running a speed CC team it's nice it's nice it's a good buff something that it needed this is the next one water dragon this is the I think this is the big this is the like the big point of this patch right this is the big everyone's talking about this the water dragon knight because there are so many unhappy chow owners right so many unhappy chow owners, like to the loo, but if I'm not that chow, the, the water dragon knight, never, never mind. Um, so Torrin has a, I mean Torrin is now changed to Justice, which is nice, alright, means that he has more burst damage. Now Justice is attack scaling, alright, so even though the water dragon knight is a HP monster, it, you're gonna, with this change, you're gonna ruin him 
all right attack like a hybrid attacker or even attack with damage attack. I would say attack with damage HP right and rune him that way all right and the thing is you also need very good crit rate for him crit rate for him for this to work the next thing is his passive now is an additional effect all right increases the damage all right according to current HP this not only increases the damage of justice it also increases the damage of his default attack according to the current HP it does not say according to maximum HP or it does not say this deals damage additional damage based on the amount of HP right it is according to the current HP when something when come to assist this this means the percent of your HP for example if you had 100% HP whether or not Let's say you are attack with damage attack, you have 15k max HP, alright? And you had 100% HP, that is additional damage according to your current HP. How much additional damage? We don't know yet. But I want to clear this misunderstanding that you have to ruin him as a tank. Because he does damage according to current HP. Does not work that way. Current HP basically means your HP bar, if it's 100% HP bar, you will do the maximum effect for this passive. Okay, now let's move on. Und Undyne, uh, my king, Aqua Frenzy, additional effect 50% chance to increase the target's chance to land a glancing hit for two turns. Ooh, okay, that's pretty nice. I'm sorry, I needed this. This is grape. Having some grape and black currant juice for some vitamin C. <coughs> this is nice. <coughs> gives it gives her more utility. Fire one gets AOE heal block. All right, fifty percent though, not the best. Dark one gets gets AOE attack bar reduction. What about the wind one? A oh, wind one, wind one is the single target. Okay. Huh. I mean, not 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 really super game changing though. I don't find it like something. I guess. Glancing hit, pretty good for, for, for dungeons. I mean, you can use her as a reviver in TOA Heart. Glancing is a nice debuff to have in TOA Heart. How about the Taoist? Alright, uh, for all the elements, fake attack instead of increasing critical rate by 30% of skill will now decrease the target's attack, by, attack power by one turn. If the, target's, if, if the attack lands a critical hit, the attack will additionally increase the target's chance of landing glancing hit. So, you get a one turn glancing, one turn attack power debuff. Okay. Okay, I guess that uh, if you if you ruin it as a uh, revenge, pretty nice, pretty nice. You can you know you can have revenge on it now. It's pretty nice since it's wait 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 yeah yeah that is a default attack. Fake attack is a default attack. Uh, okay, water and dark, angry wave, mm, more CC. Basically, it's pretty much more CC, more crowd control across the board. Yeah, unneeded buff for Hodam, I feel. <laughs> right? Fuck the Hodam owners. <laughs> it's not, I say that I know I'm, I'm okay because like 99% of us don't have Hodam so for those 1% one of, one of you who have a Hodam, fuck you all. <laughs> fuck you all. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just salty. Uh, where else? Uh, Howl, 2 star monsters get a buff, right? The skill will now remove 2 harmful effects on all allies instead of 1. Ooh. Okay. So in case you were lacking a Nacro healer, the Howl is pretty good. Very good heals. Huh? Very good healer. Uh, has two heals, and now one of them even removes two harmful effects. That's pretty nice. The fire one removes up to six harmful effects on all allies instead of four. All right. Undying. I, I you know, the cook, you can bring him in raid if you're desperate. I guess. Early levels. I don't know if they can survive the later levels because later levels requires you to have a lot of stats. Uh, after you know, after you fully room them, you want like resistance, you want speed, you know, you want HP. And you want some accuracy or whatever if you're having a debuff on your default attack. So if you're running a 2 star unit. Which has pretty shitty base stats. You know. Two st because the lower your natural star. Your base stats you know aren't as good. That's how it is. If you have a lot of this. The rest of your base stats suffer. That's how it is. Light Undying. Now it also removes 2 harmful effects. Oh. Okay. Nice. Good to know. Silphid Fire, Sacrifice. Uh, the skill will not activate when you die from continuous damage. Uh, reflective damage, etc. It used you previously in TOA Heart when you use Beretta or let's say Zyros or whatever. And um, and uh, you kill this thing with dots. You will not. This passive won't kick in. Now you're fucked. <laughs> now you're fucked. Now there's no escaping the full heal. Now that sucks. 
Yeah, it pretty much sucks. You will have to like bring Hugh Block or something. Damn it, so Vega win Vegabond changes the HP type monster, okay. New leader skills, woohoo! You see, all these are here so that you can do raid more successfully, right? So previously, a lot of people don't have universal leader skills, and now they give the Death Knights, which are really good in raids, universal leader skills. Relevant leader skills, right? Defense and attack speed and resistance. All these are really nice leader skills that you want to have. Like, personally, if I do R5, it's going to be resistance leader, 33% defense leader, and speed leader. We don't go HP. Fuck HP. We don't need HP for that. There's defense, speed, resistance. This is the best, the three best leader skills in raid, right? So they're giving it to the Death Knight. So even though it's a slightly, you know, slightly not <laughs> slightly worse leader skill than you know for example if the the, the highest you can get is 33 percent to all ally monsters from from fire monkey and you know and and and, and resistance you get 41 from let's say the siren or praha but it's still good it's still good it's better than someone coming in with a fucking delphoi and giving defense to only win or a fucking uh i don't know what's the other thing that gives defense to dark or whatever this is good it's a good buff Right, Raksashas also get leader skills. The fire one gets a crit rate increased by 19. The rest of them gets attack power or crit rate. You will never be using this leader skill in raid. Most of the time it will be speed, defense, and resistance, right? But, for example, previously, maybe you didn't want to run a, a, a speed leader for, for Necro. And, and wow, it's really nice now. You get a crit rate as well. You see? You get crit rate from that. So it's a nice buff. And also, you know, you, if you run a Raksasha like a Vert, a uh, Vert, a uh, Hua, maybe Bella or something, whatever, in Guild Wars, now you have a leader skill, and that's really nice, alright? So Calgroves also get leader skills, and they have leader skills for Guild Wars, Arena, and Dungeons, okay, okay, I think there's a, yeah, alright, fuck, fuck the Calgroves, I, I'm sorry, I'm just, I just, I don't, I don't like, I don't think they're, they're good. That's just me, alright? So anyway, nice buffs all around. AI of some monsters have been improved. Beast Monk, the Water and Dark will now... AI will no longer use the skill when the monster's HP is low. You mean when the primary monster? For example, when... When, when, for example, uh, Ku, uh, Ku, what's the, the water... <laughs> the Blue Kumar, shit, I can't remember his name all of a sudden, oh my god! Off the back of my head, I suddenly can't remember the name of the blue Kumar and the dark Kumar. <laughs> so if if he is low, then he won't hug anyone. Is that it? Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. Nine tail fox. Uh. All right. So so they won't use the 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 stun thing. I don't know. So basically, they they won't use skills in dungeons when the bosses are immune to it. Okay. Okay. Fine, Dark Mermaid, the AI will now attempt to heal according to the Allies HP situation. So, does this mean that the Dark Mermaid... Huh, okay. Do you th does it mean that he will buff... No, I think that the Dark Mermaid, you know, all the Dark Mermaids that I see, generally, first turn, they will still buff the anti-crit thing, right? So this doesn't affect that. I don't think they will heal uh, on turn 1, so this is better. I guess this is better. I don't know. Alright, anyway, it's a good buff. Oracle Light, uh, yeah, this one needed, this one needed an AI change because the Lima was really stupid before. Really stupid, now she's smarter and it's good, alright? Skill descriptions, meaning that the skill is still the same, it just changes the description because the person who translated it sucks, right? He sucks balls, right? Some skill errors have been fixed. This means that the skill was not functioning, functioning as intended and now they have fixed it, right? The Water Joker, who cares? Anubis win. Uh, the issue of beneficial effects uh, not activating while being revived on the student, so now it will always revive with attack power and attack speed. But how many of us are using this? I was considering wanting to build one, but the multipliers kind of suck. But then, now, he's receiving a buff to to the second skill and default skill, so maybe he might be a legit, uh, legit, you know, win perna, right? 30% health, not too shabby, you at least get one more hit off, right? Let's see, mummy, light mummy, soul division, blah 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 blah. Okay, okay. So previously it did not distribute HP when targeting arm. Okay. Death Knight win. Ah, previously it was reviving and distributing HP to unrevivable units. Actually, I, I'm not sure about that, but anyway, they fixed it. 
I didn't notice anything wrong with Brian before, but uh, anyway, if there was anything wrong, they fixed it. Garuda, light, light of recovery. The effect if there's no, all right, the cooldown. Okay, so now they fixed it because it was supposed to reduce the cooldown when there is no allies being revived, but it did not. So now it, now they fixed it, which is nice if you're running a Garuda, right? If you're having a Teon. Phantom Teeth Water. The issue of Vampire Rune effects not applying to Crime Alert has been fixed. Oh my god, massive, massive fix. We needed this one. Now we can use Vampire Runes or Lure. <laughs> right? Now we can use Vampire Runes. Hora Quinn win. The issue of Shield and Will Rune not being Tiana, right? The issue of Will Runes and Shield Runes not being removed under certain situations. Meaning, occasionally this might happen. Now it has been fixed. So Winds of Changes will always work. Listen, man. Previously, there was the there was the the issue of uh, because the the default attack is a double hit, and on the first hit you land the damage over time, the continuous damage effect. On the second hit you land the armor break. But when you but previously when you landed the continuous damage effect, you would not be able to land the armor break. And now it's been fixed, and now you can land both. All right. Fire, Nearstone Agent, which is Lisa attack command. The issue of harmful effect removal not being applied. The attacking power of the skill has been fixed. Huh? Attack command removes harm. I don't understand what this means. I think it means uh, certain, certain. You know, if you attack command with a friend, and that friend has a default attack that removes. Oh no 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 no! Ah! Huh? I don't understand this. I, it always removes harmful effects. I don't understand what issue was that. Anyway, they fixed it. If there was, <laughs> all right. Dark Dragon Knight. The skill has been changed to receive the attack bar increased effect with at least one of the multiple hits. Okay, then, then they already mentioned that though. Hmm, I don't know. So anyway, that's that. Overall, it's a good patch. Why? Because, you know, it buffs everything. Nothing got nerfed. Good patch. You know, it doesn't really benefit me because I don't have a lot of the monsters there, but good patch, alright? So anyway, we've got a good war going on. It's, uh, it, it is against Shin Zhao Zhou Zilun. This means looking for J. Cho. J. Cho is a famous singer from Taiwan. If I remember correctly. Let's go ahead, the best plus one. What is this? Wow! Train! Whoa, train! I don't, I don't see this often, huh? Train, Theomars, and Chloe. Today we're gonna attempt to use some of some monsters that we don't always use. So, let's see what we wanna do here. Um, actually, I, I can't really use things that I can't, I don't want, I don't use often because look at this, there's a Chloe there. Right, uh, let me see, what do I want to do here for this one? There's the I don't care about the train. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill the train, like, really fast. You know what, I don't think they have enough damage to kill me. I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna Astro Jutan this, alright? I don't think they have in what it takes to kill me. So I'm just gonna Astro Jutan. I'm gonna Astro, I'm gonna this. Where are my Jutes, man? Where are my Jutes? Where are my Jutes? I hate this. I hate this part. I'm so sorry. All right, what about here? Uh, wow, this is like the the global meta from 2015 October or something. I don't know. Should I mirror him? <laughs> no, I don't want to mirror him. I'm gonna vert him as well, though. I'm gonna vert him as well, and uh, I'm gonna bring uh, monkey for this. Yeah, I'm gonna bring monkey, and I'm gonna bring say. Uh, do I need a healer for this? Or should I bring uh? Should I, should I bring a... Do I need a healer? I don't, I don't feel like bringing a healer for this. I, I don't feel like going immunity as well. I feel like going Vert and this guy. And... And... And I'm gonna go Lisa. I know. I know. I'm just gonna go Lisa. I don't care. I'm gonna go Lisa. Where am I Lisa? I don't need a healer for this. Fuck healers. We don't need healers for this. Right? Let's just go. Let's just do this. I've got Kaito ruined up. Yeah, I can't, I can't hold it in anymore. I ruined him up. Alright, we'll use him later. <sighs> Who should we kill first? Should we kill Train? Yeah, no choice. No choice! We have to kill Train. Yeah? We have to kill Train. The fuck?! I didn't expect that! Come on! Was the surprise attack killed him! I mean, he's level 35. Alright. But seriously? I mean, like... <laughs> What? The fuck? Fuck this guy first. Alright, fuck this guy first. Alright. 
My goodness, did we drop rank? Or is this a farming, farming guild? I am not so sure. Anyway, fuck this Chloe. Fuck this Chloe. Alright, let's see, what else we got? Yeah, I'm gonna auto this. Actually, no, I shouldn't auto this. I should kill the Vert first. I should. Uh oh. Why are we not doing attack command? Why are we not doing attack command? Alright, alright, change your plan, change your plan, change your plan! Holy shit, change your fucking plan! Oh my god. I, I don't want to auto, I don't want to auto, I don't want to auto! I don't want to auto, I don't want to auto! Oh my god, I don't want to fucking. Oh my god. Let me kill this bird. Jesus Christ, I'm screwed. I'm fucking screwed. I'm fucking screwed. I'm fucking screwed now. Oh shit, I should have autoed this, man. I should not have autoed. I should not have autoed. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for this. If I lose, it's because I'm stupid. If I lose, it's because I'm stupid. Why did I auto this, man? I shouldn't have autoed this. Oh my god, I fucking trolled this game! I did not need to auto this! Why I auto, man? Jesus Christ! Fuck healers, we don't need healers for this. I threw this fucking game. I threw this fucking game. Why did I auto this, man? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Ah. Uh, this is why you don't get cocky. This is why you don't get cocky. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. Fuck that. Fuck that. Let's get that out of our heads. Fuck that. I lost. I know. Ah, <sighs> what should we do here, though? What should we do here? There is this guy. Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bring out my galleon. Galleon. And, yeah, we're gonna play Kaito here. Yep. Where, 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 where? Where, 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 where? There, there, there. I haven't clicked him in ages. That's why I can't find him. How about here? How about here? There's a monkey, there's this, and there's this. We could Ramagos this, right? Let's Ramagos this. Alright, let's... I feel so guilty now. I feel so fucking guilty about that. Just happened. So, I gotta, I gotta play this, like, real safe, real pussy, and just win this. Alright, real safe. I mean, for the second one. Because the first time I'm playing with Kaito, I don't know if Kaito has enough damage because. Because my Kaito is rune violent with 100% crit rate. You know? So, he might not have enough damage to fuck this up. You see? He might not. I don't know. Let's go. Oh my god, not enough damage! Oh, I got a violent proc though. Oh, I got a violent proc though. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna kill the Elijah first. I got a violent proc. Damn it, that was fortunate. I got sort of supreme quiet sky wolf. <laughs> but I, I I I can't I'm oh my god. Oh Galleon! Galleon! I'm gonna use that, right? I'm gonna use the sword of supreme sky wolf. There we go. Sword of Supreme Sky Wolf! Does fuck all damage. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Because... Ah! Ah! Okay, we killed the Teal Marsh. Now we're safe. Sort of safe. Now I Thunder Wheel this guy and reset him so he doesn't have immunity. Right? So he, he can't do immunity anymore. So I lost my Galen and that sucks because that means... That means I can't do this again. But okay. Damn it, it did only 33,000. That sucks. But that was an armored unit, right? That was an armored unit. What should I do here? Um, I'm gonna do this. Should I? I'm just. I'm not gonna touch the monkey yet. Not just yet, right? I'm gonna do this. So now without armor break, this monkey can't kill me because there's no attack buff. There's no armor break. This monkey is not gonna do enough damage. Oh my god! Hey, hey, what the fuck? This village wall. Shit! Shit! This village wall. Fuck him! Wow! That was scary, man. You know what, I decide, okay, should I go for Vendor or should I go for the monkey? I don't know if I can kill the monkey. If I can't, my Vendor is gonna follow up. So I'm gonna go for the monkey. 
You see, I knew it could be a possibility that I can't kill him. So I got my Velodrome to follow up and finish him off. Even though it did not quit, it was just enough. So right now, they have no tr no threat at all. This Velodrome without armor break, you know, it's ne no, he can proc as many violence as he wants. He can never kill Ramagos, ever. I don't even have to heal. Let's just kill this fella. Alright, that's not, that's not cool at all. He's proccing more violence than I think that he should be. I have to heal now. I have to heal now. This is bullshit. This villain jewel is suddenly a bit scary. Suddenly a bit scary, huh? Jesus, he hurts quite a bit. Can we block heals? Alright! We got clean shot, right? I think we do. I think we do. No, not yet. But we have heal block. So, this guy is gonna die. My turn for the violence. Alright, this guy is gonna die. Chicken fanatic, whatever. Whatever, it's gonna die next turn. This clue is just wasting my time. This is wasting your bandwidth. Because the result is already very clear, alright? I'm using Kaito in, in Giants right now. Pretty fun. Pretty fun when he props violence and sort of Supreme Sky Wolves everything. Damn it, I don't have Galleon now! Galleon would be nice for this, yes? Galleon would be so nice for this. Fuck. I'd like to... I'd like to do it here, you know? I can't. No, I can't. Maybe Megan? Yeah, yeah, I can... I, uh, you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna Lucian this piece of shit, right? Uh, I, I can Katarina this, but it's risky. I can, but it's like so risky. So I don't, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just Lucian this and win this. Just Lucian. Because I need Armor Breaker for, for Kaito. I can't do it without Galleon. I fucked that up. I let Galleon die just now. Anyway, so Lucian this guy. Orion's gonna die. Still much gonna be at one health. This guy's gonna be half health. Can't fall in blossoms anything. He's gonna do a muse. Whatever. Doesn't matter. How about here? Ha! Ha 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 ha! This is where I get to play with this guy. Yeah! This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. I why am I repeating myself? <laughs> because yeah, I didn't I did I didn't intentionally pick him. It's just by chance that I can use him, right? Yeah, there we go. Anubis. Yeah, yeah. I mean what's his name? What's his name? Avarice. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go with this guy. Okay? We just go with this guy. Yeah, let's do this. It's gonna be fun. Gonna s I'm gonna straight up kill- I'm not gonna kill Pornar first. I'm gonna kill the Galleon first, right? I'm gonna kill the Galleon first. Oh, shield runes. Okay. Slow Mars. Okay. Slow Mars, shield runes. If the Theomars survives more than two turns, I die. Okay, uh, let's get on this guy, he's gonna fall on Blossom, he's gonna do a muse, she's gonna do a muse because she gets the tech bar, eh? Alright, now she does a muse, but whatever, you know, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter because this is gonna happen, yeah, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, and the next time Lucian moves, he dead. Or not, never mind, he's still dead. Okay, this team is, is too, too little HP. Monster. <laughs> Shit, this fucking Draco. Why are you playing like an Orion? This Draco playing like he's an Orion. Get your color right, man. I guess, I guess, <laughs> I guess Ever is still not ready. <laughs> Never mind. Let's do random review. Wind scroll. Let's go. Fuck that. Ah, oh, no lightning. What do we got? What do we got? Wind harpy. Fuck that. Piece of shit. I think. I'm not sure. I don't even think it's fusion food, right? I don't think it's good at all. Sure, this one is like. Uh, no. No. 
Don't don't do it. Shit. Shit monster, alright? Shit monster. Okay, that's all the time we are for now. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!